For the most part, gaming just sucks now. It's going downhill, but this week has been the cherry on top of the sandwich when it comes to gaming being bad and just development teams not really doing a good job. So to start it off, I was looking forward to Saints Row. Saints Row is one of my favorite franchises. It's one of my favorite games that I've played in the past. So I was pretty disappointed to see the new Saints Row come out and just be trash. Gaming in the last couple of years has just been absolute trash. Battlefield 2042, fail. Call of Duty, fail. Halo, infinite, fail. I mean, unless the game development team is from Japan or very few and far between Western gaming companies, it's just trash. Like Rockstar, I think is going to blow it when it comes to Grand Theft Auto 6. It's this whole go woke, going broke mentality. It's, you know, it's just crazy what's going on in the gaming industry. I don't know what they're doing. I've said this before. Maybe they're hiring people based upon a certain criteria and have to fit numbers and have to fit agendas rather than picking the people that are going to be best for the job. Maybe people who are doing these are just wussy ass Gen Z idiots, millennials. I don't understand what's going on. Maybe they don't have any much skill. Maybe they got the job because they looked apart the and they say the right things and have their proper Twitter pronouns in their bios and they have the Ukrainian flag on their header. I don't know. Maybe that's what they worry about when they hire people now, not hiring competent people. And if that's the case, damn, man, uh, the world might be going to hell in a handbasket, as they said back in 1920s for a boomer reference there. So first off, like I said, it's been a pretty bad week in gaming and gaming in general seems dead to me. Saints Row, go woke, go broke, trash, horrible, not a good game glitchy buggy no one who's reviewed it has said it's been any good and now we look at this i don't know the last of us remastered part one for playstation 5 that cost a hundred dollars in canada bro and i think eighty dollars ninety dollars in the good old of us of a for a remastered game that has been remastered already on the playstation 4 so the only thing they've done is they've increased the graphics and added detail to a game that's been out i don't know 10 years ago on the playstation 3 and has been remastered and redone and now they remastered it and re-editing it or re i don't know whatever relaunching it on the playstation 5 for a hundred dollars and it doesn't even have the multiplayer not that a lot of people probably are pretty hyped on that but that's just a function they kept out of there that they are now selling just the single player campaign for a hundred dollars for a game that's remastered and of course the sony ponies and idiots out there are more than happy to give people a hundred dollars for a game that's 10 years old or i don't know how old the damn thing is and i know it's a great game but you can't be charging a hundred dollars for a game just so you can increase the graphics fidelity like wow this reminds me of the Grand Theft Auto remastered uh, edition with Liberty City and whatnot and how much of a ripoff that was and how bad that looked. I mean, this game, they've increased the graphics and increased the, I guess, you know, foliage and detail and, you know, you make the graph, you know, 4K and all that shit, I guess. A hundred dollars, bro. Really? Come on, man. It's just, gaming is so disappointing and the people who are making the games just don't seem to be doing a very good job and it just seems they're inept and gaming as a whole outside of uh, Japan who seems to be making great games like Elden Ring and Ghost of Sushi and I mean like I said Rockstar is a hell of a gaming development team but I surmise that Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to be the biggest disappointment in the series it just seems that way right I just the writing's on the wall they've talked about making it more inclusive and they've already started editing and taking things out of the game that don't fit into the whole left agenda and oh you gotta have the pro you know it just it's I, I can't really go into it into detail too crazy here i'd like to go off king as they say you know what i'm saying kings and shiite but bro come on man this is a joke another thing too i want to say here like right like i i don't like the whole left far left thing happening right now and you know what you can make fun of or you can be critical of what liberalism is nowadays without being a right-wing person or without being a Republican. You can be critical of liberalism and what it is now. Because I used to think I was like left wing back in the day. I used to think like, yeah, free speech and respecting people's wishes and respecting people's opinions and different lifestyles and no one telling you what you can and can't say. Free speech, allow music to be done. It was always the right trying to like censor music, like heavy metal and gaming. It's always the gamer's fault. But now it's flipped the switch and now left has just gone off the deep end. And of course the right is following suit in certain aspects of their ideology. So it's just nothing but a shit show. And I think that is trickling down into other parts of society. And we're seeing that with entertainment and gaming. And that is maybe perhaps why gaming sucks. The big one right now is because it's just too political and it's just too many insane people. And this is also trickling down into entertainment. Most movies are just babbling, driveling, agenda pushing, political pushing, nonsense, 
equality and representation, forced representation, so it looks corny and stupid and doesn't fit the plot. And then these people get all upset that, oh, there's backlash because, you know, certain such and such persons of ethnicity or culture is in this role. And all these people are, you know, they are, you know, I can't even say the word because I'll probably get smacked here with the YouTube algorithm. But, you know, the R word, oh, yeah, you're that kind of person. Oh, my God, yeah. And you're this person. Oh, you're, you know, homophobe. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know, the whole freaking rhetoric comes out that is no, 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 we're not. You're forcing an issue and it looks stupid. It's like they want to control you and not let you speak back towards them. It's like with the whole thing in the last two and a half years, science and the discourse of science is dependent upon being challenged. That's what science is. You have to be challenged constantly and continuously prove that your theory or your numbers or your math or your conclusions to your studies line up because over the history of time, things change. Things that we thought were real back in the day, things that we thought were scientifically facts back in the day have proven to be fallacies and things that we thought worked, i.e. depression and serotonin, low, low serotonin, and we're going to give you MR, Prozac and whatever, man, and so we make you feel better ends up being a fraud that's in the you know medical journal now that's in the psychology journal that is a consensus upon doctors but you know 50 30 40 years ago they try to convince us that smoking was good because doctors were getting paid by the tobacco industry to push smoking and it was healthy and then they also one thing too which is a misconception the sugar industry paid doctors and other people and the media to say that fat's bad for you and sugar is what actually is good for you it's the fat that's going to give you a stroke what ends up being that sugar is the bad thing is actually the killer and fat is actually not bad for you in any way whatsoever and there's no link between fat and increased cardiovascular disease but there's a huge link between sugar and diabetes and overweight and obesity that leads to cardiovascular disease and also premature death but you know hey well people still believe that actually because they haven't quite got clued in on it because they're still pushing that agenda but if you got a brain which most of you guys do because you're subscribed to this channel so therefore you have to be a highly intelligent individual to make that decision so congrats to you you have passed the litmus test of being a smart person by being here watching the video and subscribing and if you haven't subscribed right now and you're watching this video hey don't be a dummy join the most intelligent elite gaming athletes in the world by subscribing to this channel right now boom look how i slipped that in there is that amazing that's amazing thank you call me marv albert with this little up my bum but it's all it's ridiculous really and i don't know how we're on this random tangent we start off with gaming sucks in 2022 but i think it's all connected i think it's all insanity i think it's all crazy i can't say what i want to say because i get say that i'm going to hit like i was sneako and thrown off and get demonetized but what i want to say is that this has been a really disappointing when it comes to gaming entertainment there's very few shows and movies and games that are actually good and fun that aren't pushing some political ideology down your throat lecturing you on how you're supposed to be behave even though we all are doing very well behaving thank you very much we're all nice people kumbaya hold hands off we go to behemoth and grow with alex jones but the majority of people are sick and tired of this shit it's very rather obvious the number one most successful movie this last year was Maverick because it didn't have any nonsense. It was just fun. It was just an awesome movie. They come in there with their super F-14, F-15, F-16s. I don't know what they're flying, but they are awesome pilots and they're puking in puke bags and they're making amazing movies and it's exciting and Tom Cruise is like, hold the G's and these guys are like crazy and then there's some Chinese girl in there who got paid, but she's not really actually that much because China has a huge infiltration and influence in Hollywood. So I don't know if you knew that. You might want to go back and look that, but there's a Chinese person there and I imagine the Chinese release movie has her playing a bigger role they do that they change skits around and scripts and change the plot around the movies to have more of a chinese roles in these blockbuster movies when they show in china so you know hey that's kind of crazy when you think about that but anyways maverick when it came to the north american and europe releases that didn't really showcase that chinese person too much she was just background noise there because come on man she's a chinese fighter pilot they can't even drive a car properly boom that's a joke don't get mad it might be possibly true i don't know don't give up the internet don't call me at call me et and I'm out like the vapors. I'm going to get out of here before I get in trouble. Having a great time with you folks. Hope you enjoyed this amazing video. Gaming sucks. Entertainment sucks. Because people are more worried about other things than just making the actual content good. That's the long story short. Thank you for watching. I am not eight thoughts and last but not least and most importantly my pedigree chums you got to do one thing you know what that is i know what that is eight thoughts subscribe and smash that like button no that's cool i appreciate that but you got to stay black with your throat in the tongue crack it 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 in the tongue